I was born in Turkey in the city of Denizli, which is the southwest of Turkey. I left there when I was five. We moved to England. When I first arrived, it was a new world for me. Everything just seems different, you know, the multicultural people, you know, different race, the area, you know, the buildings, plus getting used to the language. It, it was just, you know, it was hard, but finally managed it. <laughs> We got raided by the police. It was 6 a.m. in the morning. I, I heard this sudden bang. It was, it was a sudden, you know, thump on the door. I woke up, I was in shock, you know. I told my mother, I think we're getting robbed, we should call the police. As soon as I went to the door, I noticed it was the police. I didn't know what to believe in because the people who were supposed to help us are the people, you know, who were coming to get us. My mother said to me, the police weren't getting in, so we should try to get out. We went through the back door to the garden. We jumped over to our outhouse. We lay flat there because at that moment we heard um, a loud thump. We noticed it was the, you know, the police broken in. We lay there, it, w it was really cold. It was, it was raining. My baby brother, he was only one. You know, he was on his pyjamas. It was, you know, it was freezing temperature. After some time, there wasn't any more noise. So my mother said, you know, to peek if they're still there. So I, I raised my head just to see. I noticed this woman, she was searching around and then she quickly turned into my eyes. At that moment, I thought, you know, they caught us, it's all over, it's game over. I put my head down. I just waited because I thought it was going to be over. My heart was beating so fast. We waited, we waited, but nothing happened. So I told my mum, we need to get down, we need to get out. We got down to the neighbour's garden. I noticed there was a Somalian girl there. She was in the kitchen. I knocked on the door. Well, you know, she, she was shocked to see us, you know. She ran to her parents. She came back with her mother and her aunt. We told them, you know, the story, if they could help us. Two minutes later, one of the ladies came back with one jacket and one slipper. We gave the jacket to my little baby brother and the slippers to my mother. After that, we jumped onto the last garden. We knocked on the window, you know, to, to seek for help. There was a white English woman. I told her if, if she could open the back door so we could get out. Without blinking, she went and opened the door. We got out. I don't think I'll ever forget that. <laughs>